Hey everybody, welcome to the stream on this lovely day. Hello, hello, hello. So yeah, <clears throat> today we're going to do a little bit of uh, furniture. Just because I started drawing this piece uh, yesterday, the day before, I don't remember exactly. And I felt like oh, I, I want to explore this a little bit further. So I thought it would be a nice opportunity to, uh, yeah, just draw some furniture pieces with you guys. Hello, the pocket clock. Hello, everybody. Welcome, welcome. My day was good, I must say. Uh, was very productive. Had a lot of fun drawing uh, sort of characters, which, yeah, it's not really my job drawing characters. But I uh, was helping a client with uh, drawing some characters for communication purposes. So yeah, uh, it was good. I am not complaining. What about you guys? What's, uh, what's life like there? What's life like in the chat, <laughs> in the chat world, I would ask. Uh, by the way, uh, so the idea is that I am going to draw furniture, but feel free to ask if you have any questions, I will uh, gladly take a break from my furniture ideation and explore with you guys. This is size of my brush. So as always, I do these streams mostly to answer your questions and interact and help you uh, Help you with your drawings. <laughs> uh, life is rainy here. What about there, Kim? Where uh, you, Kim? You've been there all in Netherlands, though. In Amsterdam, it has been like, yesterday and the day before yesterday was horrible, and the day before that was pretty pretty bad as well. Um, so so yeah, it's uh, it wasn't good. But today. Funnily enough, as you can see on my face as well, ah, the sun is still shining a little bit. It's not warm, but uh, we did go on a walk with a girlfriend, and at least it is nice and um, springy, if that is a word. <laughs> it's, it's nice and, and sunshiny, and the trees are mostly, um, yeah, uh, they're blooming, I would say. Could you reduce the... Oh, of course. Yeah, I forgot to ask if the music is loud enough or if it is too loud. Okay, let's see if we find uh, a good balance between me talking and music. Yeah, in the dark it is loud. Technically I could... Hello from Minneapolis, Jesus Christ. <laughs> that is far away from, from where I am. Well, welcome from Minneapolis. You still have uh, most of the day in front of you, unlike here when the, where the sun is going down. I feel like I could push this a little bit further away, something like that. Uh, okay, good. <laughs> well, I hope I hope we solved the the, the, mu the music issue. Uh, usually, I, I start out by asking that, but this time I was just hoping that it would be loud enough. But it's uh, it's no problem. We can always adjust. Okay, back to this one. <laughs> Michel Lambie does sound like a 
they are French. Ooh, what the? No. Autodesk wanted to start up here on a different screen for some reason. And we do not want that. Thank you very much. Oh, this is a different red, but like whatever. Okay. Yeah, yeah I, I am totally taking suggestions. So once again, the, the idea is, okay, great. We lost sensitivity for a second. The idea is that I'm working on, uh, on some furniture designs. Oh, come on, get back here. I'm working on some furniture designs, but uh, I am open to taking um, suggestions, of course. I will stop as soon as I get my pressure sensitivity back. We can continue this. Okay, so uh, what, what now? Wacom tablet properties. What can what can I do here? Let's see. Calibrate usually. There we go. I knew I can scare it with that. Uh, what's your girlfriend's? Come on, it's it's a turtle. <laughs> I'm not gonna say. It's it's not a turtle. <laughs> I, I, she told me that that you you think that it's a turtle, but. Uh, I, I, can, I can tell you that much, it's a furry animal. So the animal has fur. I mean, she, post, she posted new pieces of, of uh, what the animal will be looking like. So you can maybe deduce it from there, but yeah, not, not so clear just yet. You want a fluffy Elmo chair? I can do a fluffy chair. I don't know about the Elmo chair, but we can, we can do a fluffy chair. I, I don't mind that. That's a good idea. Actually, a fluffy Elmo chair. I like the I like the challenge there. So we can try that. Hey Bogdan, welcome, welcome. Uh, what's your thought about transportation design? Uh, my thoughts are that it's a. Uh, Oof. Well, it depends. <laughs> I the, the I think I don't want to say it's not needed. I think it needs a sort of. A, but also, I, I'm I'm not the person to speak. I'm not in transportation design. In in general, I'm a big fan of public transportation. Well, not in these times. In these times, it's a bit weird, right? But I don't believe in the personal owning of a car. I believe much more that we should have like. Uh, car sharing system that systems that are already there in many many cities but unless you live in I don't know America where, where you have a, like really you have a, a giant country and neighborhoods are, are far far apart from each other like in Europe we could do a, with a lot more car sharing and a lot less car owning just because yeah we, we don't you don't cars are the, the things that you buy and then they sit about 80% of, of their lifetime they just sit in a garage so we should come up with better solutions for transportation in my opinion uh, okay so we, we let, let's do the Elmo thing because we said uh, an Elmo coach right so let me quickly do an Elmo oh I don't like this sound though it's too epic. We're not doing epic here. We're doing chill. Or rock, I guess. Sure, why not? Elmo was the red guy that I drew last time. Yeah. Okay, okay, let's see. So I, I feel like it should be fluffy. Should be playful. Maybe round. I like round. I, I rarely draw round round chairs and then I guess Elmo everybody likes Elmo so like Elmo could be hugging you so it could be like a, a chair that goes around a little bit like this okay I 
maybe I can make the base a little bit bigger. Uh, I recently tried the Vacom into a Pro with Sketchbook and never managed to get the gesture zoom working. Gestures, I mean, you mean this one? This this should be working. It's, it's just it's just space. Oh, you mean finger gestures? Oh no, turn that off. Burn it with fire. No, no, no. We don't use gestures on on drawing tablets. Oh no, that's horrible. No, no, no. Don't 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 do that. Get rid of that. It's it's useless. I don't know how. <laughs> this is horrible. I, I do have an idea. Uh, so I'm going to give the eyes here, and I'm just going to. This part is going to be colored orange yeah I, I can't put iron there so I'm just going to probably merge them together so I'm gonna bring bring this down something like this yeah and then this can be this there we go <laughs> I'm laughing because I actually like this stupid idea Oh man. No, no, we're not putting the ice on the front. We're leaving them there. Just let them, let them pop out. <laughs> this is so stupid, I love it. Okay, wait. Uh, let me copy this. Actually, I can't merge that one down. Uh, let me blow it up a bit. Like, let me take the other stuff away. Okay, the music is a little bit too aggressive. Well, what's what's wrong with today's selection? It's a bit all over the place. Okay, let 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 us switch some mood. Uh, is there like chill? Dark, dramatic, serious, peace, peaceful. Let's listen to some peaceful music. It's not a rape chair. <laughs> it's definitely not a rape chair. Yeah, I, I will not forget the, the, the texture. Texture is coming for sure. Oh boy. Okay, let's let's use uh, or not. Let me be an industrial designer. armchair armrest thing whatever you want to call it so we need an interior ellipse and an exterior ellipse something like this oh great break time already a mimic sofa yeah it's uh, <laughs> as soon as you sit on it it's gonna <laughs> attack you in the end, reflector is going to be right, and it is a it is a rage. <laughs> oh lord! Okay. So there we go. So Elmo is quite fluffy, right? He's like super, where's this picture I saw? Copy image. Yes. Something like this. You have to make a long arm with one hand at each end, like Elmo is hugging you. 
just going full creepy, aren't we? Okay, okay. Well, I'll, I'll do that. <laughs> I'll do that. Okay, so let's let's see this arm idea. So I go down to. Oh no, I drew on the wrong layer, of course, because I always do that. Merge down. Okay, so then I go back to my sketching thing. And then here you have the two arms, so I can take uh, that away. <laughs> After hugging it will eat you. <laughs> I'm thinking I could like cut these a little bit like this and then the Elmo arms would come out from there. Let's see. How does this look? So we just cut our chair here, the armchair, and then you can sort of Elmo arm here. and then an elmo arm here and then you can put this around you if you sit here and then technically you feel like elmo is hugging you okay this is this is becoming more and more creepy i am i am a fan of this <laughs> really unsafe yeah oh man Okay, okay, I'll, I'll, I'll add this. Let's add this. So then switch back to this part. So if we cut off this part here. And then we cut off this part as well. I don't know, like, I, I never watched Sesame Street or, or the Muppets or whatever, and now two times in a row I'm, I'm drawing Elmo stuff. I don't know how this came about. You guys are some weird influence on me. Okay, so the idea was also that this... Well, it's not exactly a half circle. Like it's smaller than a half circle. This would be the mouth of Elmo, right? And then I would have the two legs of Elmo here. Well, not legs technically, it's just feet. Something like that. Yeah, exactly. That that was the idea. They they are they are like belts. You would uh, swing them around you. I guess this mouth can be a little bit more like here. Something like this. Then let's not forget the eyes. Well, actually, the eyes are touching, right? They're not that far apart. That's the And then this would be just a slightly different coloring within the chair. But it's a bit too big. <laughs> Bogdan, you're not gonna sleep from this, you say. <laughs> oh. Ah, come on, it's a, it's a, let's call it cute. I think it's cute, right? Look at us, it's, it's looking at us and it's smiling. How, how cute is that? <laughs> oh Lord. Um, it's like a chair that you can threaten children with if they don't behave. I, I don't know if it's worth buying a chair just for that, so it takes up space in your house. 
but uh, yeah, that, that, that's, that sounds uh, just like it. Okay, so I'm, I'm going to just bring in a little bit of uh, fluffiness here and there. Just a little bit here and there. Uh, and then I'm going to let death row inmates be between the electric chair and the electric chair. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I guess. Uh, come on, guys, give it a chance. It's It just wants to hug you and it wants you to sit on its fair pillar. I'm not saying that. It, it's, it's just a friendly chair, okay? I did Elmo on doing the iconic pose from the Lion King movie in the middle of any advice on finding what I love to do? <laughs> nope. No advice there, buddy. Okay. And let's see. So then one arm. Okay, we have one one arm. It should have a bit of a more fall than like that. <clears throat> hey, <laughs> I notice you rarely use shadow in your drawing. Is it something that is done only in Final Fantasy? Yeah, so I, I don't put in the shadows before. Um, I'm I'm starting rendering at least. So, yeah. So I, I, I hear, if you look at this, I, I have the, the sort of ambient occlusion. So there's a little shadow there and a little shadow in there. And there's, that's also in shadow area. But the, the cast shadow, which would be there underneath it, I usually leave that to last possible moment. No particular reason for that. It's just that I, there's a high chance that I will... Uh, change the drawing or I will have ideas and I will have to move it around and I just uh, don't want to have the hassle to redraw the shadow or whatnot so I leave it for the last moment and then sometimes it happens that I forgot that I didn't do the shadow so that could be also why sometimes you you don't see shadow in my drawings uh, would you please make a video about cutting planes in perspective uh yeah i have a little post-it note here uh, that i just tore great jeez okay i'll have to fix that but i'll write it down cutting planes in perspective can do that later okay the other arm I will draw on a new layer just because I want to possibly overlay it with this one. Yeah, I like that. Sit on Elmo face chair. Yeah, that's, uh, that, that you said that. I didn't say that. You said that. I would never suggest uh, profanities like that. This is a very children friendly chair for for children friendly people. It's all all just for fun, family friendly fun. You have some weird ideas, Manuel. I don't I don't support your ideas.
There we go. See, this is super children friendly. Come on, guys. Uh, how do you decide to pick a certain angle for your drawings? Uh, that's a good question. <clears throat> I would say it's it's something that's used like the the standard thing that we draw things is is like this box, right? So whatever I do is like usually fitting in this box. So I so like I did the chair that that sort of fits in this box. That's 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 most of the times I I I do my uh, angles. Sometimes when I want to go a little bit crazy, I decide, okay, let's, let's have a, a, a top view of something. So then I would take, a, take the box and maybe also distort it a bit more. So make it a bit more like this. And then if I would try to fit the same chair in here, it would probably look something like this. I could also like rotate it a little bit in this case. So just make it, make it a bit more angled make it a bit more I just just play with the perspective but it's uh, usually what what we go for that's why we go with the, the three-quarter view because if you look at the objects you get information from three sides so this is this is this is one of the best ways of conveying information because if you just draw it from the sides if I would draw my chair from here the the, the Elmo thing this is all I would, would get from it. So it's, it's not quite clear how it is. So that's why if, if you put it into three quarters, that's why in general people draw in three quarters. It's just the most information that, uh, that you can convey like that. I'm gonna drink a slug of water. How did I get the idea for this piece of furniture? Well, people suggested it. What do you think? I don't come up with this sort of nonsense. <laughs> How did you know you liked industrial design? Uh, I didn't. <laughs> so I studied engineering and I knew that I liked drawing. I didn't know what industrial design is. I just, I just knew that industrial design is sort of a combination of, of drawing and uh, Engineering, at least that's what I thought it is. It's, it's not that at all, but that's what I thought it is. So I thought, okay, let me, let me uh, try, try it out. Let me see, maybe I do like it. And that's, that's, that's all there is to it. I didn't really know if I would like it or not, but I knew that I like industrial design type sketching because I saw a lot of people sketching that way and I thought that looks really cool. But yeah, industrial design doesn't really have to do necessarily too much with sketching. Sketching is just one tool in the tool set of, of industrial designers. Which would, and I like to say this over and over again, just so people don't get confused and think that industrial design is all about drawing, because it is not. Okay, so I decided to just quickly redraw it and use my ellipses just to make sure that we have a nice and correct Elmo. Uh, what can you do with industrial design related to the entertainment industry? Prop design. Prop design is, is very much uh, industrial design technically. So industrial design, well at least that part of industrial design. Industrial design you design tools and elements that people are using every day and you need those for the entertainment industry as well from and, and prop design also comes from the stage from uh, theater productions because when you have your actors on the stage you need props on the stage like let's say we would have uh, a theater show about weird people who love to torture themselves by sitting in very creepy chairs, then somebody needs to design those creepy chairs. So in this case, we are already ahead of the curve with this thing of ours. But no, seriously, like if, if you have a Shakespeare, if you have anything, you need chairs to be on, on the stage. You, you need um, doors, you need benches, tables, 
and all these things you need in video games, all these things you need in movies as well sometimes, specific ones that you have to design. And not, not to speak about uh, when you have a sci-fi movie uh, and you need spaceships, you need uh, environments. Well, environment is a little bit less industrial design, but stuff like spaceships, space suits, Ford people, uh, cars, vehicles, all this stuff. So that, that all is industrial design related. Uh, hey, Zamzam. <laughs> no, no, that, so, the, so the nose is not something separate. So I, that I, I need to do when, uh, when I start uh, coloring. I, let, let's, we're going to color this uh, fantastic creation of ours. Uh, that is just going to be a, a separate color within the, the, the furniture. But it's not going to be a, a piece that is poking out. Uh, where did you get the penis pillow? <laughs> uh, it's uh, one of my friends got it for me. I don't know, they, they just saw it. And so I don't know about you guys, but I, I met a couple of people. Whenever I meet people who like to draw, somehow we end up drawing penises. So my friend knew that I, I, I draw penises quite often. So when he saw that pillow, he immediately uh, uh, got it for me. By the way, I think uh, if I turn this, let's see. I think there it is. You should be able to see it now. Uh, let me see. Can you? Can you? Not yet. Yeah. No, a little bit more. Oh, a little bit more. <laughs> okay. If you don't see it now, it's sad, but I will... I see one ball of it. There it is. It's a little bit in the picture. Okay, fine. <laughs> okay. So it, it was somewhere ordered online. So I, I, I don't know where it's from. I would have to ask my friend. Uh, undo and erase this part. I think I can. Oh, no. Now I can merge it down. Uh, and that's it. Does that involve making like the Iron Throne and weapons from movie? Like, well, that is prop that is prop design but uh, the question was what can you do as an industrial designer for the entertainment industry uh, and yeah that that would be probably a prop designer who, who does that and as an industrial designer you can become a prop designer if if that's what you design uh, is that if that's what you decide to uh, specialize on uh, You're not really a big fan of the Godzilla movies. I'm not a big fan of the new ones. As a kid, I loved the old Japanese ones just because it was a novelty. Uh, what would be the smell of that chair? Strawberry milkshake. <laughs> uh, I don't think we need to know what the smell of the chair is. Hopefully it's neutral. That's, that's what I'm hoping. But uh, yeah, you never know. Okay, let's let's draw the mouth of our Elmo. No, that's family friendly content. Hey, it's, it's just a pillow, man. It's, it's just a pillow, I'm telling you. It is family friendly content. <sighs> well, the first thing somebody at work asked me to draw was a penis. We're doing this. Yeah, we are doing this society, I know. It's, it's just... I, I, and I don't know about girls. Like, girls also enjoy it. But when guys get together, the, the sexuality of the people doesn't matter. 
we just love drawing penises. That's, uh, that's how it is. It's, uh, it's no explanation. Okay, this is a little bit too... Uh, You don't want it to be super the samey. Let me take some of that away. There we go. Okay, I think it's time for the arms, or actually the, the eyes as well. Alma will be looking in a weird direction. That penis pillow was made by another designer. At some point, probably, yes. <laughs> uh, do you prefer drawing on iPad or the pen, pen tablet? Pen tablet because at least I have this setup for myself where it's relatively at the height of my eye and it feels more uh, comfortable and healthy just for posture and everything. And with the iPad, as much as I love it, because it's really fun to just take it with me on a couch and, and draw on it while I watch something on TV and I can easily take it with me when I go traveling somewhere. Uh, I can just feel that after like an hour of sketching, I feel that I, I, was, I was hunkered over and my back is not happy with me. Uh, do you know about Kentaro Miura? He's a manga artist. He has an awesome manga called Berserk. I heard, Berser I heard about Berserk. But I don't really read that much manga. Like I, I read some of the stuff my girlfriend had in the <coughs> bookcase, namely Naruto mostly. And uh, I started reading a little bit of um, Rurouni Kenshin just because I saw the anime and I really love it. Uh, do you work from home by the way? Yeah, yeah, I do work from home, Kim. Uh, it was relatively useful, well useful, easy to get used to because I was working from home before as well, uh, quite often, but I still had a lot of client contacts, so I had to go out to clients and, and, and uh, work from their place, but now that everything is happening online, yeah, I, I definitely mostly work from home, mostly, all the time actually, because the all the... Conferences and meetings and everything that I used to do in person, we just do via Zoom calls now. Just so if, if you are new to the stream or if you are new to me and you didn't know, I, uh, my day job doesn't really have to do much with uh, industrial design per se. I am a visual facilitator, a visual communicator. I help people and companies uh, solve communication issues by helping them actually draw out uh, what their problems are. So that's, that's my actual day job. Uh, hey Ru, welcome, welcome. Uh, Three-quarter view car from behind. Uh, we might do that a little bit later, but now we're finishing up this uh, furniture, if you if you can call it that. Zhao uh, Silva, is it just me or is the stream itself kind of low sound? Uh, it could be. Okay, wait. I can try and fix that. I, I was a bit lazy to set it up, but I can do it. Okay, let's see. Okay, it's gonna be a bit loud. I might hit the mic once or twice accidentally. This Eastern European technology, guys. Just take some rubber band and then you have your mic stand ready. Okay, so now 
you should be hearing me better, I hope. If you don't hear me better, I, this, I, I, there's not much else I can do. Like this is the max I can make my voice louder. Yeah, I thought so. Uh, most of your customers are in the Netherlands then. Uh, whew, I would say 50-50. 50-50. And, well, actually, more of them are outside of the Netherlands at the moment. At, at, at the moment, because of COVID, I guess I would say 30% is Dutch and the rest is uh, mostly Europe. Oh, the, the, the arms. I need the arms. So in the in the Netherlands, I work mostly for gemeentes, uh, companies, banks. I worked with ING quite a bit. So mostly stuff like like that. The, the problem with the, that is that my Dutch is, I mean, I understand and I can speak Dutch, but it's a little bit uh, very Boutenlander Dutch. And I have, a, I have a strong accent and I just feel uncomfortable uh, speaking Dutch. So it's a bit hard still getting Dutch clients. That's mostly, mostly my fault, though. I should I should learn Dutch more. Uh, as a mechatronics engineer student, should I improve my knowledge on product design and I want to, but I don't, how? Uh, I would say pick stuff apart. Uh, I mean, I studied together with other mechatronic engineers. Uh, wow. Thank you. Somebody just rang the bell. But honestly, I, I, I'm not sure what a mechatronics student has to do yeah. with um, product design. Was the mistake? I don't think so. Okay, great. People mistakenly pressing the doorbell. Uh, yeah, so in general, uh, Budhael, it is good for you to understand how products work. Take them apart, see how they work. That's That's... That's my, my advice. That's how I figure things out. Uh, they have rubber bands in Eastern Europe. Well, technically they do, of course they do. That's how we keep stuff together. <laughs> uh, oh, wow, that is uh, not placed correctly. Okay, let's see if I can adjust this. Should go there. And this one should come here. Okay, I feel like that works fine. Um, in your job, do you also oh oh, I uh, do you also notice that companies often don't yet know that they needed a visual thinker designer until you help them. At which point they can't believe they didn't do it exactly. <laughs> that that is uh, well, my favorite thing is always like you have you have a guy or a lady who just doesn't believe in visual thinking and, and think that, uh, why is this person, like, why is this kid here and drawing? Like, we're talking about very important things here. I don't want somebody here and drawing. What is that going to help us? And then by the end of the session, that's, that's usually the person who's, who's very much enthusiastic about everything and, oh, can you draw also this? And can you draw also that? And they, they are a total believer. So yeah. That is, that is pretty much how you put it. I think this is uh, coming together, guys. Look at this. <laughs> I'm sorry, I just got into it. I'm not going, I'm not going to draw other things while I really enjoy this. <laughs> uh, KT, sadly, I don't understand that. Hi, my name is Charizal. Welcome. 
Salamat Malam, I guess, because it must be quite late over there. Uh, what's my dream job? I guess I like this quite a bit, what, what I'm doing now. Just because for work, I, I, I do this stuff, which is also drawing related. But because I'm a freelancer, it gives me freedom to just explore my creativity in my free time. So I can do a lot of just drawings for myself and, and I can try to learn 3D. So I'm right now, I'm, I'm relatively happy. I, I could not complain. It is sort of a dream job. But yeah, I, I do like production design and entertainment design. So I, it would be nice to sort of be a art director or art lead, something like that, of an indie gaming studio. I like games. Not necessarily a big uh, AAA company because there's just too much pressure and yeah, too much. Uh, usually the upper people who want to satisfy the uh, stakeholders, they kill creativity, at least that's how it seems to me. Uh, I'm a native Belgian and speak Dutch, but Dutch people always start answering in English. Really weird. Yeah, I... I <laughs> I have the same thing. I have the same thing. But on the other hand, I understand all the Dutch people. But when, when you Belgians start speaking your Flemish, I usually have to ask you nicely to switch to English for me because the Flemish is a bit too different from, from Dutch for my taste. Well, not for my taste, but I, I just don't quite understand everything. Okay, let us fill this up. Uh, does it happen that you have to draw assembly design to show how multiple shapes will work together. Let me think about that. Well, that happens a lot in, um, that's something more product design related, right? Because especially when you're uh, doing products and you want to explain how they work in the beginning, when you, when you also don't have the, the 3D model yet, that can help quite a bit. For me, what happens that is similar is usually in bigger companies, you have to show how compart compartments, <laughs> I don't know if it's compartments, but, but how different uh, subdivisions of the company work together. So like uh, you have different divisions in the company and, and how, how will the whole thing come together? How will they communicate with each other? Uh, people will be making mistakes. Why did you move to the Netherlands? Uh, I did my industrial design studies here. So I did my engineering, which was industrial and economical engineering bachelors back in Romania. And I did one year internship in Germany, but I wanted to do my, oh, let me do this. I wanted to do my master's in English and the Netherlands has very good industrial design universities. So I chose to uh, study here. Mm, let's do this one. How do you approach your clients? Do they come to you or you build a network? I am very, very lucky and I did build a network. And this type of work is also very much uh, word of mouth work. So uh, because People don't really know that many people who do this. Once you have a company that you work for and they like you, they will come back to you and they will also recommend you. And like the stuff that I do is usually used a lot. So here I can, I can show you something that I, I did today. Uh, so this, this was very fun. I just did these characters for a, a, a client who wants to talk about different chief officers, so CEO, COO, CFO. Um, this is CBB, which is chief, beers, bitterballe and bowling. A really, really Dutch thing. Oh, wait, somebody's knocking. One second, guys. Hey, good luck. 
Okay, somebody just uh, knocked at the door and asked if we found a, a phone. <laughs> Ah, weird, weird day. So anyway, so th this was so the, just a, for the client to communicate what role does what and how he needs people. Like this is one drawing that I did. And this is usually, uh, I think this would be in, in emails or it would be in some sort of presentations, but then people see this and if people find it useful, they just uh, uh, turn to me. Uh, where do I have more? Yeah, so for the same, what can I show? <laughs> for the same client. Uh, he was talking about, well, this is actually visual, visual impact and how you use visual impact. And uh, when, uh, when other people see this and they find it useful, they just ask for, okay, so who's the, who's the person who did this? And that's how I usually get uh, my clients. So I'm just very lucky and they come to me. Uh, what is this place? How did I find this place? I don't even know who this artist is. Uh, hey, dead man. <laughs> I imagine you are very confused or you probably left already. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah, this is this is a weird place of the Internet if you if you find it. But yeah, it's it's I hope it's a nice place. Uh, Sabo Tibor, welcome. <laughs> yeah, so it, this started out as furniture design or a furniture stream and then it turned into something weird as it, as it does. So I hope you still find it fun and useful. Um, I am a chemistry student, but I think 3D is more fun. Well, yeah, 3D is... What? No. I think chemistry is quite, quite fun. Oh, no. Wrong thing. Uh, departments, yes, yes. Uh, sometimes my English is just uh, on the fritz and I won't remember easy words like departments. Uh, no, Bogdan, I didn't come to Romania. I am from Romania. <laughs> I'm surprised you didn't know that by now. Okay. Actually, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to stick with a hard brush. I don't know why I'm messing about with a, with a slightly see-through one. Hard brush is better for this purpose. And let's lighten this a little bit up. I'm doing my industrial design while I watch the stream. I'm doing triangle shapes. Oh, okay. Triangle shapes are good. <laughs> okay. what, what, what do you have to do with them? What's, what's the assignment? Uh, let me put in some lights. It's getting dark in here. This should help a bit. Uh, especially when it's night and your kami ancestors start speaking by themselves. <laughs> I did lose Elmo's mouth, you're right. G good point. Okay, I need a bit brighter. Hey, thank you, thank you, thank you. And desaturated, please. Ah, good point, thank you, Kim. Desaturate some more. There we go. Okay, now we got him back. Thank you, thank you. Let's do the eyes. Oh wait, I didn't lock the, no, I did lock the layer. As much as I like this sort of music, it doesn't fit here now. Okay, so we're doing Elmo's eyes. Uh, 
I meant to write homework. I have to draw a triangle and then build a paper. Oh, okay, that's interesting. Man, being a student is so much fun. I do miss it. Um, hi Robert, what do you think about being among artists? What should I do to get better? Uh, I don't really know. <laughs> I, uh, I would say anatomy is important. Storyboarding is important. Storytelling in general is important. But yeah, manga is not really my thing. I'm not, not the right person to ask there, I'm afraid. Uh, Kim, a cousin of one of Elmo's friends, like Cookie Monster or something. I, I, I think, <laughs> I think uh, once Elmo is done, we'll move on. <laughs> I, I don't want to over, overdo Elmo. Ask them to pay me to play on the chair. <laughs> Look at it. It's it's a cute chair. It's smiling. What's 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 wrong with it? Why what, what do you have against it now? Well, not being a student now, I can imagine is hard when you when you can't go out and hang out with people. But uh, as an old man. I'm telling you, trust me, you're gonna, you're gonna miss being a student. It's good times. I can lighten this up a bit, can't I? Jesus Christ, can we can we just move on from all the all the what is this Sesame Street stuff? Like what is what is your guys' obsession with Sesame Street? There now now it looks fluffy, right? We're good on the fluffiness. Uh, I am going to do this though. looks like a potty chair <laughs> uh, yeah I see that I, ca I can see that I'll take this one just in case stream stopped oh uh, shouldn't have and it's back okay Okay, there you go. Just just for you guys, we have the Elmo chair, and let me also add a bit of shadow here.
bit of ambient occlusion. Stream is lagging. Sorry, guys. I, I I don't know what to do about that. My internet has been quite shitty lately, even though I pay a lot for it. Stupid service provider. Manuel asks why I made the eyes like that. Because he has a hard job. Everybody's sitting on his face with his open mouth. So the only way he can cope with it is uh, smoking a little bit of joint every now and then. And just trying to forget about uh, the horrible, horrible life that he is having. That's why, Manuel. That's why. Oh yeah, I forgot to take a break before. Well, here is our, our beautiful chair in the meantime. <laughs> oh. Okay, I'm just gonna add a bit shadow here and then we're done. I, I wanna move on. You can think of something else, otherwise I will go back and work a little bit more on my own little design. It's a bit too dark, it can be less dark. Something like that. Of course you can do that, Rue. I know you can do that. Okay, there we go. We have our Elmo. I'm just gonna group this together. Huh? Great, I put it above it. And then call it Elmo chair. <laughs> oh man, the things I do for you guys. Uh, no, I did not do it. I, that was surprising, wasn't it? <laughs> I felt like drawing a stupid Elmo chair. That's that's life sometimes. You just you need to draw an Elmo. Uh, can you do Ganesha next? I I don't know what it is. I'm I'm sorry. Uh, car from the rear, three quarter view. Okay, okay. Let. <laughs> We're not sci-fi toilet. Ah. Okay, lamp. Okay, so car and lamp. We'll do a lamp and then we'll do a car. Let's let's do that. Um, let me let me just group this so I know. Furniture, and then we can put all of this in there, and then let's do a car from. But there's no, not a big difference between drawing a car from the front or from the back, to be honest with you. So the three-quarter view is three-quarter view, no, no matter how you put that. Probably could be a little bit longer. Yeah, the thing with the mic here, you probably hear me better, but uh, it's a little bit in the way of my arm as I draw. Okay, so like this should be one wheel, this should be the other wheel, then we can sort of project it on the other side. One wheel and the other wheel. And then depending what sort of car you want to draw, I'm hitting the mic, okay, go higher mic.
man, I uh, I do I will need to get me some reference because I'm not. Uh, Ganesha is a Hindu lord. It's unique to draw it. Yeah, I never drew Ganesha before, so I would not know how to draw Ganesha. I'm sorry, Santosh. Design furniture based on non-furniture things. <laughs> God, the, the mic is not bad. It, it's just, um, it's, it's my laziness. Okay, let's, uh, shall we do something European? Because that's harder for me. Uh, Audi sedan, there we go. They are usually, there we go. Oh, this looks horrible. Copy image. No, I mean, it doesn't look horrible. It looks great. It's just, it's going to be a bitch to draw. Okay. This one can become a little bit smaller up in the corner with you. And then let's see what we have here. Okay. Well, why are we doing the, the stupid bagpipes again? Jesus Christ. Okay. There we go. Something else. Uh, uh, hey, paint 3D. Make a shoe. I don't want to make a shoe. <laughs> I don't know how to make a shoe. I can draw a shoe, maybe. Not make it. Uh, okay, let, let me make my thing bigger 12 is nice okay so I'm just gonna do the, the whole box thing first to see so I'm drawing now a box around mainly the body so that the first box was to see my view and these are going to be relatively rounded rounded uh, let me strengthen the wheels so I see them. One and two. And wheelhouse, wheelhouse. No, the back. I like bagpipes. It's just I don't know. I, I chose calm music or peaceful music, and it gives me bagpipes. I don't know how that is calm, peaceful music, but like whatever. So I like doing these because this sort of tells you the shape. And here we have sort of like that. So these are changes in the surface of the side, right? And then we have the shoulder line, which comes something like this, relatively parallel. And then no idea how the front looks, but it's fine. Oh man, this is a... I definitely chose something that's hard for me. Next time I say something like I'm going to choose a card that's hard for me to draw, just tell me not to do that, okay? I don't know why I do this to myself. Yeah, this, this is way too wide. I definitely drew the car too wide, so I'm going to shorten it a bit. And then something like that. Still too wide. Uh, Piece of furniture made of a bee. Okay. You guys, uh, okay, that is, a, that is a suggestion. You definitely want to challenge me here, don't you? Isn't the box a bit too short? Yeah, it, it, is, it is too short indeed. Uh, it, it is. So the thing is, I, 
I was I was intending to just draw an imaginary car in the beginning. So that's what I made the box for. So if I would have continued with just an imaginary car, the box would have been perfectly fine. It's just that I brought this sedan in here and obviously I didn't copy the proportion or I didn't look at the proportions of the car. And now I'm, I'm um, trying to fix that when I'm like halfway in the thing already, which just won't work. But it's fine. Uh, that's that's what these live streams are there for so you guys see that uh, i do fail and i do fail quite often and there's nothing wrong with that failing is good for learning Uh, the wheels seem a bit too close, don't they? Yes. <laughs> well, do they though? Um, yeah, the front one, for sure. Whoa. Let me let me fix that. Actually, you're right. So let's push the front wheel a little bit. So if we look here, like this, the wheel should be after that point. So somewhere there. Yeah, that's better. Thanks, Joao. It was a good catch. But the trouble is not with... Uh, like, if I would have just gone with an imaginary car, that, that, that goes fast. But I, I wanted to copy this. But I didn't copy it. I just, I just started drawing from the head. So this is something that you, you shouldn't do. Start with a car and then try to copy it. So instead of trying to copy it, what we're going to do is just we're going to do our own sedan, which is not going to be an Audi. It's going to be a, a Roo car because Roo asked for it. Let's see what else we have here. I want to speed this up a little bit because I also want to do the the lamp, right? We had the we had the idea for a lamp as well. So in general, where you will probably have issues, uh, Rue, is uh, this corner here, because it's it's not a corner. It's it's nicely it's nicely rounded, and that's where it is really not easy to to get that rounding uh, done nicely. At least that's where I always have issues, and I have to pay special attention with that. Should have a cut out there. Let's do something with the wheels as well. Why not? Okay, so now let me. Like the body should be coming something like this. It has a bit of bend to it. So the front. Should be there. Rue guy. <laughs> I like that. We give it like this. There we go. Problem solved. 
Hi, how come I turned into Automotive Thursday? <laughs> uh, we're going to move on to, to Lamp Thursday within a minute. <laughs> it's just, yeah. There's always a high chance that I will end up drawing a car or a robot in one of these streams. Uh, I was watching Teleport, which then I saw this live stream. Uh, I'm very sorry. <laughs> uh, I don't know. I don't know what else to say. I don't take responsibility for this live stream. <laughs> Uh, okay, here is something interesting. Let's see. How do we feel about that? I feel that's good. Let me do it again. Just because... Uh, Something like this. There we go. I feel like this will give it a little bit of a... And then this is the windshield. Yeah. I'm happy with that. Like, now, don't ever let an automotive designer or somebody who's good at drawing cars come in here and take a look at this because I'm, I'm pretty pretty sure the, the proportions are not really fantastic but uh, hey so I'm not drawing the, the Audi I'm just using it as a little bit of reference here and there um, Robert likes BMWs. We call them bring mama's wallet <laughs> in the States because the cost is so, yeah, yeah. It is, it is definitely, it has, it is the big shoulder that brings the BMW and the front is also a little bit BMW-y. Uh, there's, there's a reason I like to draw muscle cars because, because it's just more comfortable with them. That's, that's what I can draw easily. Muscle cars. But let's add a bit of shadow and then we're done. And this is how I would draw a car <laughs> if I wouldn't look at reference. Because technically also, like, see, th this is why I say, look, look at reference if you are not sure about something. And then, yeah, I can, I can noodle on, on this one forever. But I would say, uh, this is, this should be good enough. I feel like uh, the front could be a little bit nicer. Something like that. <laughs> Reference is all the result is real guy car. Yeah. Pretty much. Let's just push it aside. Okay, lamp, right? Dishing the Ford Mustang. <laughs> uh, okay, wait, 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 wait. Um, Kim, you wanted a lamp. What sort of lamp were you thinking of? In the meantime, I look up Memphis design style of furniture. Lamp and moth, great, I hate you guys. Can't, can't you just give me something? Oh, man, okay, so this is like very colorful. So, uh, S. Farbot Taghavi told me to 
d draw something with Memphis design furniture. This is interesting because this is very much out of my comfort zone with a with a very colorful style. But it is it is interesting. I I, uh, I will try something with this later. Memphis style lamp. Okay, with a moth. Okay, okay. Uh, moth plus. Memphis style lamp. Okay, all right. I I don't know why I do these things. <laughs> okay, this is also today's last thing because we're going. Uh... Oh no! Yeah, I know that feeling, Zhao. Happens to me as well with uh, the iPad. Man, this Memphis style stuff is. Uh... Not easy, huh? Okay, I'll take this as a example image. Here we go. And I'll also take a moth. Why moth, guys? Like, seriously? I don't like moths and butterflies, just not at all. Is it okay to mention how to rotate a box in perspective? Yeah, well, I mean, yeah, it's okay, but you need, all you need for that is perspective. Like, okay, we, just, just a quick one, guys, to explain. So you have the horizon line and you build your box like this. And then if you want to rotate it, technically these two vanishing points will move. Like if I want to rotate the box like that, this vanishing point will go there and this will go there. So it will be a bit more like this. And then this will be my rotated box. But this is very hard to do when you always have to keep the vanishing points in line. Vanishing points in mind. So that's why I always tell you guys, one thing that you have to get used to is to just feel these two lines, they're parallel. So the next time you draw a line, you just have to always draw, go away, go away. You have to draw parallel lines to them. And that's that's how you, so I'm going to draw parallel to this, parallel to this. I'm going to move it a little bit and I'm going to draw another parallel. And then so like that, I'm going to move it a little bit again and the parallel. Well, by parallel, I mean at, at a slight angle because they have to go to the same vanishing point. So that's, that's what happens when you rotate. So I just keep on you have to you have to have these vanishing points in your mind not on the paper so you know where these will meet it's it's a bit hard but keep on doing the the perspective sketching the pers try to get better at perspective perspective and sooner or later you will be able to do it without vanishing points okay moth 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 So let's try something. I'm thinking something displaced like this, and then the lamp would be in the center. And then, yeah, okay. Let's 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 keep it super. I'm gonna take the the um, geometric forms from the Memphis style, and it's probably gonna have some ridiculous colors. Okay, and then this is the lamp, and then I'm gonna put like geometric moth wings in front of it, behind it, and then here as well. Something like that. I would obviously this this is what I'm doing is not design, this is just sketching and, and ideating. Uh, but yeah, I, I guess I would do something like this for it. Uh, what I don't like is that if we if we rotate it a little bit and look from the side, then we would have like one moth thing here, the other one there, and then a small one in front. And from this side, it would be relatively empty. Mm. Mm -mm -mm -mm. 
let's read the comments a bit. Bye bye, Zhao. Thanks for uh, thanks for hanging in. The external battery is actually not a bad idea. I might invest into that as well. Vanishing points do come in play when rotating. The thing is, you just won't always be able to put them on the on the page. And auxiliary vanishing points come specially into play when you start also tilting them on their axis. So you don't just do uh, this rotation. That's super ugly, sorry. But then you also start doing the the sort of tilting it forward and then maybe tilting it even more because then then the vanishing points sort of get off of this nice line that you had before so yeah the, the, that's where the the auxiliary vanishing points come in it's just it's impossible to keep everything on the on the uh, paper Look for Australian moth. It already looks like a lamp. Okay, let's see if we can cheat with that. Australian moth. Oh hell no, no! You, don't you ever, don't you ever say things that that's this. Oh Jesus! Just the two hundred fifty boxes. <laughs> it's time to change the. Oh, was it? Oh, I didn't notice. Now, sorry, guys. Okay, uh, I think I might stick with this one. I, I mean, I don't. Okay, let me let me try something else. The thing is, if I look at this Memphis style, it's really um, angular. It's it's not. It's, I, I can't. I wanted to bend the wings around the thing a little bit. It's not something you can do that easily, I feel. It's funny because usually I, I hate modern style stuff, but trying to rotate, the, with the, trying to do this with like very simple shapes, I uh, find it quite satisfying. See you soon, Boban. No, no, I want to include the moth. Yeah, I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna take the smaller wings and just move them. So you sort of lose a little bit of the mothness, but that's good. Okay, so if I draw it from above, I will keep the, the body of the moth as a rectangle. And then we will have the two big wings here and then the smaller wings like that. Uh, yeah, I'll keep that. Let's make some space. Okay, let's let's finish up this lamp thing. So what I was thinking is that here's our moth. Let me bring this on top. So this would be the where the light is and this would keep it up. So if I come back here, this would be like sort of a steel structure almost. Right, something like this. And then you would have your light source in there probably LED or something. 
when this would be holding it up uh, it would need something like this to stand steady I'll make a new layer It's an extremely not user-friendly lamp, I feel. Maybe we can make the wings a little bit smaller. I think it would be cool also if, if these are made of some see-through material. Yeah, some rich people would buy it, but like... <laughs> I don't know what to say. <laughs> okay, so I'm just gonna cut the lines everywhere a little bit. Just showing that that's see-through material. Uh, maybe... I know it's a moth, but let's just use a very light pink. it's overlapping where it's overlapping you get a bit more of the pinkness oh wait let me turn on this light as well it should be better you should be able to see my face a bit more okay so erase It is a lamp indeed. Oh wait, no, these these are wrong. So these would be some sort of slightly see-through material, just so it blocks the direct light of the LEDs that are in there. There we go. And what I will probably do here as well is lock the layer and take sort of a red. Do I have a nice dark purple? It is not too saturated. Yeah, I think this works. There we go. And then I can also take this brush. Let's go over it a bit more. It's not a cow, it's a plane, yeah. Let's finish up the bottom part as well. Technically something that could be interesting if we don't have this central thing but this structure is like LEDs. Uh, 
and it could be like a cold blue light. I think I'm gonna try it and see if it works. So this is somewhere a mix between uh, art and lamp. I don't know which one it's more. <laughs> All right, two mama jokes now. a bit of a break and then we can put the final touches on our little drawing um, let me lock this as well we're gonna give it sort of a blue let's see this one I think this is this is nice And then I take an airbrush, try to take a lighter blue. Come on, rest break, go away. Yeah, the trick is when you draw a lamp, you should not never draw it on a white background because it just will not show up but like imagine this can I quickly do something like this and there you go Uh, not good at running with markers to develop my skill. Which one you would recommend practicing with Cintiq or traditional drawing? Like, if you want to be better with markers, definitely do the traditional drawing first. That will uh, that will help you. Well, I, 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 I won't render much further than this. I'm just uh, doing some quick touches because it is getting late. I am getting sleepier. Oh, too big. We can erase this part. Oh no! I'm just gonna add some highlights here and there. Yes, I know I need a rest break. I was supposed to stop some time ago, but we went a bit in overtime, so please calm down. Actually, let's lock this as well.
I have no idea if like I think this doesn't really fit the because it should have been like super colorful. So I should have gone with like crazy colorful things, but uh, yeah, I, I just I just lost it, guys. I'll take I'll take the I'll take the loss on this one. It's okay. <laughs> At least we had fun with the rest. Let me just package everything into one folder. Where are we? And let's see what we did today. So we did this lamp. We did the car backwards or a three quarter U from behind. Uh, we did this beautiful Elmo chair where you can sit uh, on Elmo's face and he's a little bit high because that's the only way he can take uh, whatever he has to take. And then, yeah, I was just working a little bit further. Like, I guess this I'm going to do further in my own time. But yeah, let's just throw in everything there. Thank you, uh, guys. Another fun, another fun little uh, live stream. Thank you very much for joining. Hope you had uh, a lot of fun. You can check out my Instagram or also my Gumroad somewhere down there. There's a bar. <laughs> I don't know which direction <laughs> you read it. Uh, but yeah, thanks again. And yeah, see you guys Monday or next week. Goodbye, everybody. Bye-bye.